Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool Kodak frames effect in Final Cut Pro 10 right here. So as you can see, this is what the final edit looks like to this Kodak film effect. Now don't worry, all of these or these two frames, um, this one and this frame, are going to be linked in the description below so you can go ahead and download these frames. Don't worry, they're not plugins and they don't cost any money. They're just images that you're gonna have to download and they're going to be in the description below. So let's go ahead and open up a new project right here and we'll just call this Kodak um, frames um, right there. So let's go ahead and create this new project. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up this project right here and I'm just going to go ahead and select all four of these videos right here. Let's go ahead and open it right here and let's paste all of them right there. So what you want to do is now you want to start actually applying um, the Kodak frames. So this is what the well, this is what the video looks like with um, without any of the filters on, without the Kodak frames. This is what it looks like when you take the frames off. So what you want to do right here is just go ahead and take the first one right here, the Kodak Overlay 2. So let's head over here and let's zoom in right there. I'm going to go ahead and just use the blade tool right here to chop it off right there. And then I'm going to go ahead, actually before you do that, before you Actually, it depends on what you want to do first. I'll, I'll just go with the coat, the keyer first. So you want to go to the effects panel right here, keying, and you want to apply the key around of there. Now you may look at that and say, well, that's not what I want. What you want to do is you want to go into sample color, and you want to select the black part right there, basically as the uh, sample color. Then what you want to do is you want to go to fill holes and you just want to increase it to 10 that way there's not any transparency and of course if the video is not cropped you're gonna see a little bit over here but as you can see it's already cropped so all you're basically doing is you're just taking the video right here and you're basically just using the scale tool the crop tool uh, it's not even the crop tool the base is a scale to move it into position right there so as you can see right here I just moved this video into position right there. And the next thing you want to do is you want to take the Kodak Film Overlay 1 and you want to apply it to the this video right here. So we can go ahead and just head over here. And now this one actually doesn't need a key or effect at all, but you're also going to probably want to increase the scale a little bit. I'll go ahead and use this as a reference to see. And so I increased it by 5 um, percent because there is a little bit of a black background so let's go ahead and increase it to 105 right there now that looks a lot better so this is what we have so far with the two codec um, frames right here the first one right here and then the second one right here so let's take the second one right here and just copy and paste it over here to this clip right here and then we can just take this clip and we'll just go ahead and copy it right here and we'll just use the blade tool or the selection tool and there we go so remember with this one you're actually going to have to have to apply the key effect and then you just want to sample the black color and of course it's always good to use the fill holes just in case it's a little bit of sometimes it'll show a little bit over here but that just depends on what you want so let's go ahead just open over right here and this plate right here and this is what we have and this is what the video looks like right here so you create this really cool codec frame overlay and that's pretty much it now if you want to add it uh, you see right here you say well how do you get that white background or that cream background all i did was uh, open, open up the project right here now of course if you're doing an instagram video you don't want to you don't need that but in this video i'll just go ahead head over to custom generators um right here so let's go to generators right here click on custom right there and let's apply the custom effect right here i'll use the blade tool right there and we're just using the custom thing right here the custom generators and then you want to head over to color right here or you want to head over to this this section go to color and then you basically just want to select the color that you think looks the closest to the green color i think that definitely looks pretty good and let's go ahead now that we have that selected 
let's go ahead and just select it over here there's a couple of things i want to do with the kodak frame of course that's this is all like a personal preference so i'll show you in a little bit what i mean but let's go ahead and select it right here and this is what the video looks like right here now we're looking a lot closer to the original video right there with the kodak frame overlay and that's what it looks like right here now a couple of the things that i did was you can see there's a little bit of a black bar right here so what i did i went over to crop and i actually increased the crop left to two and then the crop right to two also just to get rid of that little frame um right there so let's go ahead and head over here this is this is of course a personal preference but i just this is just one thing that i did so let's head over here to two right there and there we go you just increase the crop a little bit so i can't remember exactly what i did in terms of scale right here so let's use this as a ref as a reference again so i increased or actually decreased the scale to about 94 percent so let's head over here go to the scale right here and let's just say 94 percent right there and let's head over to this one right here and let's just decrease the scale to 90 four percent right there and of course at the end of the day is a personal preference but that's basically the look that i went for so let's go ahead and play it right here and as you can see right here this is what the final edit looks like it's pretty close to the original and of course you can use your own creative twist and your own creative spin and come up with your own different ideas but these are just a couple ideas that i came up with so hopefully one of these ideas helps inspires you to create something similar to this anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro pad tutorials every single day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy watching these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button i also have final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 120 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace